Hey everybody, how's it going? Tech Guy Charlie here. In this video, I am going to show you step by step on how to perform the initial setup on an HP Smart Tank 530 all in one printer. We're gonna fill the tanks, install the print heads, and get your brand new printer up and running in no time. And guys, if you find these kind of tutorials helpful, do subscribe to the channel. Alright, so let's begin. So start by unboxing your new printer and set all of the contents on a table. Now before you start following the instructions in this video, make sure to read the startup guide that comes with your printer. That way you'll have an idea of what you are going to do. Now let me walk you through the setup process. First, you gotta start by removing all of the blue tape that is stuck onto the printer. And you also must remove all of the cardboard that is inside the printer. This step is very important or else something might get damaged inside when you power the printer on. So removing all of the cardboard packaging, especially from the inside is very important. And once you are done, the inside of the printer should look something like this. Now this part is important. Before we install the print heads or fill the tanks with ink, first we will need to power the printer on. So connect the power cord and hit the power button and wait for the setup process to begin. Once the setup process begins, the printer will ask you for some basic information like the region and the date and time. Once you complete the initial setup process, the printer will ask you to fill the tanks. So let's do that. Filling the tanks is my favorite part. So start by pulling the front cover to get access to the tanks. Now grab the ink bottle and remove the plastic. Then open up the cap and remove the inner seal. Then reinstall the cap. Next, open the cap on the tank. We are gonna start by filling the cyan ink first. Open the cap and just place the bottle on the tank and the ink will transfer from the bottle into the printer's tank. This process takes roughly about a minute so you gotta have some patience. And you can see the printer's tank is filling up. That is awesome. Once the bottle is empty, just pull it out of the tank. And that is pretty much all there is to it. And you will have to repeat this process for the remaining tanks. Oh, and one thing that I realized is that you don't really need to hold the bottles down with your hand while filling the tanks. They kind of fit snugly into the slot and you don't need to touch them once the ink transfer starts. Just leave them on there until they are empty. And we are done. Take a look, absolutely no ink stains on my hands. So this ink refilling system is quite nice. I like it. So now we're gonna close the front cover and wait for further instructions on the printer. After filling the printer's tanks with ink, it is asking us to install the print heads. I've got them right over here and let's unbox them and install these. So these are our print heads and they look very, very similar to the HP 680 ink cartridges. And technically these are also print heads because if you look at the bottom, you can see that is indeed a print head. So yeah, very, very similar design, but you might be able to tell the difference. This one has an opening on the top where the pipes in the printer connect to refill the ink inside these print heads. All right, to install the print heads, open the front cover, then open the inner cover and this will give you access to the print head carriage unit. So first off, we will have to remove the orange piece of plastic over there. So start by turning the lever clockwise like this. After turning the handle, press down on the blue latch and that will unclip the orange piece of plastic from the print head carriage. Then gently pull the orange plastic piece out. And we won't be needing this again, so discard it or recycle it. Now grab the print head, remove the protective rubber on the top and the plastic tape that protects the electrical contacts and the head itself and just slide it into its appropriate slot. The color print head goes in on the left and black onto the right. And finally, press down on the blue latch to lock the print heads into their place and then close the covers. So after installing the print heads, the printer will ask you to load an unused plain white A4 or letter size paper in the tray. So pull the paper tray out and load a fresh sheet of paper. Also make sure to pull this tray out, otherwise the papers are gonna fall to the ground. Once you are done, 
Press OK to start the alignment process. Once the printer finishes printing the alignment sheet, you will have to place it in the scanner and tap on scan once again. Once the printer is done aligning the printhead, you can safely discard the alignment sheet. So at this point, the printer is ready to print. But before we can take printouts, we need to connect the printer to a wireless network. So on the LCD, tap on the setup icon, then scroll down to network setup. Then tap on wireless setup wizard and wait until the name of your wireless network shows up. My home wireless network name is Planetary Fortress. So I'm gonna connect to this. You will need to enter your Wi-Fi password and then tap on done. Now the printer is successfully connected to our wireless network. Oh, and one very important thing. Once you finish the initial setup, you'll notice that the ink levels will drop to about 90%. Now this is completely normal because the printer uses a little bit of ink to prime the printheads. So this is completely normal and will happen during the initial setup. So guys, we are almost done. The final thing that you have to do is install the driver software on your PC. So open up the start menu and search for Microsoft Store and open it up and search for HP Smart. So this is the driver software that we need to download and install on our PC. So once you install this, just click on launch and just follow the on-screen instructions to set your printer up. I've already finished setting up my printer on the PC and as you can see it is connected. And lastly, you can also access the embedded web server of your printer by going to network and your printer will show up over here. So just double click and it will take you to the embedded web server of the printer. And from over here you can access various settings of the printer. Finally, at this point, we can now start taking printouts using our PC. So on your PC, select whatever you want to take a printout of. I'll take a printout of this photo. So right click print. Make sure your printer HP Smart Tank is selected with the appropriate page size and the quality. So let's take a printout like this and I'll click on print. So there you go. The printer will now print. There you go. It's printing. And this is happening completely wirelessly. As you can see, it is connected to our wireless network. And there you have it. That is our printout. Now, I have taken this on plain paper. That's why the quality is not so great. But if you take printouts on a matte or a glossy photo paper, then the print quality of this printer is fantastic. Now, if you want to take printouts using your smartphone, then download and install the HP Smart app on your smartphone. Just follow the on-screen instructions to set the application up. Tap on set up a new printer. Now on this page, you have to be cautious and select the second option, Ethernet cable. If you select the Wi-Fi option, the app has a bug and it will not be able to search for your printer even though the printer is connected to our network using Wi-Fi. So it is not going to be able to see the printer. If you select the second option, Ethernet cable, it will see the printer almost immediately. So there you go, that's our printer. So that's it, our printer is now configured on our smartphone. Now to take printouts, you have to create an HP account. So if you tap on print photos, it will take you to the page where you have to create an HP account. So I'm gonna create a new account, sign in, and I'll be right back. Once you sign in with an HP account, you will be able to pick photos from the gallery. Let's do that. Let's take a printout of this puppy. Now before we hit the print command, let's crop this photo. So this app also has a built-in image editor and you can go ahead and crop your photos if you want. Done and done. Now I'm gonna tap on print and here it's gonna give you a preview of how the photo is gonna look like. You can also change the layout from over here. Let me also do that. So that looks much better. Done. So yeah, let's tap on the print button and see if it takes a printout. And indeed it is. And the best part is you don't need your PC to be turned on if you wanna take printouts using your smartphone. And the picture is gonna come out any second now. And there you have it, that is our printout. So yeah, this is how you take printouts using your smartphone on the HP Smart Tank 530. Pretty amazing, right? 
Alright everybody that brings us to the end of the video, hope it was helpful and if it was, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer them. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.